And we start with violence in Cleveland. New overnight, a stabbing at a parking garage in Public Square. This is frightening. Cleveland EMS tell us they transferred a 28-year-old in serious condition to Metro Hospital, but it's not clear exactly what happened. And that's not the only incident that happened overnight. A man was shot at a gas station on the city's east side. Cleveland EMS says that they transported a man in serious condition after being shot at the BP on Lee Road. Now this is adding to the soaring crime rates in the city, something leaders are hoping to tackle today. Austin Love joins us live with a look ahead at today's first ever public safety summit. Yeah, we're just hearing those stories, oh it seems like we're continuing to hear them more and more and more as we continue to go down this slippery slope of the rising crime rates that we're seeing here in Cleveland. But with this uh, safety committee, that, with this summit that's taking place today, they're hoping that, uh, the, and the community is hoping that community leaders can uh, really start to find a solution to this and really start combating these numbers. That's because it's continuing to get worse and at an alarming rate. Just listen to these numbers. So far this year, compared to last, there have been at least 100 13 homicides. That's up 18% from this time last year. The city also seeing a spike in grand theft auto vehicle cases up nearly 89% from this time last year with more than 4,000 reports so far. And arson cases, they're up to nearly uh, up 28% from a year ago. And as police report, there have been at least 119 cases of arson this year. And at this morning's summit, we we're told that Mayor Bibb, along with police leaders, will address police recruitment and retention strategies. Hopefully that this is uh, a somewhat part of the solution in uh, decreasing these crime numbers. But we spoke with Cleveland Peacemakers Alliance Executive Director Maisha Watkins. She says that something needs to be done and done fast. Um, hearing those numbers are extremely heartbreaking. In all aspects of safety, we are struggling in the city of Cleveland. So absolutely, it breaks my heart. We have to ensure that our communities are safe. Yeah, that's the number one thing that they're going to try to address here today. And part of that solution, as we're just talking about, is police recruitment and also police retention, something that uh, here in Cleveland, the, the Cleveland police has really struggled with over the past few years, as well as uh, police offices are around the nation. But uh, the mayor's office told us we intend to make a few key announcements on that that are aimed at addressing current recruitment trends. And, of course, we're going to be at this summit later on this morning and keep you updated on air and online at WKYC.com. Carmen. Of course, Austin Love reporting live for us this morning. Austin, thank you so much.